No matter what your age, dental care is important. And this includes children and babies. The oral health care routine you establish early on can affect children for the rest of their lives. And when adults practice healthy habits, children learn those habits and are more likely to continue them into adulthood. An unborn child's teeth begin to form during the second month of pregnancy. And between three and six months, the teeth harden. It's important for a mother to eat a well-balanced diet and take vitamins that aid in developing healthy teeth, like vitamins A, C, and D, protein, calcium, and phosphorus. Good nutrition in a mom helps ensure a child will have strong tooth enamel and be less likely to develop cavities when teeth erupt. A healthy mouth during pregnancy is also important because decay-causing bacteria can be transmitted from a mom to her unborn child. Pregnant women should be especially careful to brush twice a day with fluoride toothpaste and to floss or use an interdental cleaner daily. It may surprise you to learn that newborn babies have all 20 primary, or baby teeth, already in their jaws at birth. Primary teeth give the baby's face its shape and aid in chewing and speaking. Typically around six months, the baby's front two upper and two lower teeth will erupt. Keep in mind that each baby is unique and develops at his or her own pace. Some children may not have a first tooth until 12 or 14 months old. By the time they're around three years old, all 20 of the primary teeth may have erupted. And at about age six, the permanent teeth will begin to erupt. Teething can often be a painful experience for a child, and many babies experience sore or tender gums. You can help lessen the pain by gently rubbing the gums with a clean finger or a wet gauze pad, using a chilled teething ring, but never dip it in sugar or syrup. If your child is still in pain, contact your dentist or pediatrician. Early childhood caries is tooth decay that happens in primary or baby teeth of young children. It can occur when child's teeth are frequently exposed to sugary liquids for long periods of time. These liquids can include milk, including breast milk, formula, fruit juices, soda, and other sweetened liquids. When bacteria in the mouth come into contact with sugars found in foods and drinks, acids are produced that attack the teeth. The acids attack the teeth for longer than 20 minutes. And each time sugary foods or beverages are consumed, the acids attack the teeth. Over time, tooth decay can develop. Tooth decay can happen as early as six months old or as soon as teeth are visible in a baby's mouth. Unfortunately, decay in baby teeth can progress rapidly and cause pain. If left untreated, it can even harm the permanent teeth that are still growing underneath the gums. Also, severe tooth decay can have a harmful effect on a child's general health. Baby teeth play an important role in your child's oral health. They hold space in the jaw for permanent teeth. If a baby tooth is lost too soon, the surrounding teeth may tip or shift into the empty space. Then, when the permanent teeth erupt, there may not be enough space for them. The new tooth may be unable to emerge or may emerge in an abnormal position. Crooked or crowded teeth are difficult to keep clean, which makes tooth decay more likely. Additionally, crooked or crowded teeth can have a negative effect on children's self-esteem. Children might grow up embarrassed about their smiles. They might frown more often, clench their lips, or cover their mouths with their hands when laughing. You can prevent decay by taking a few important steps. Don't allow a child to fall asleep with a bottle that contains milk, formula, fruit juices, or sweetened liquids. If your child falls asleep with a sugary liquid on his or her teeth, the acids can attack the teeth all night. And make sure your baby doesn't fall asleep while breastfeeding or with a pacifier dipped in sugar or honey. Frequent sipping of sugary liquids while children are awake encourages tooth decay too. Do not let your child carry a bottle or a training cup around or get into the habit of keeping it within reach while riding in the car or stroller. It's never too early to begin practicing a good oral health care routine. You can begin cleaning your child's mouth just a few days after birth. 
After a feeding, wipe your baby's gums with a clean, wet gauze pad or washcloth. This helps to remove plaque and any leftover food, and your child becomes used to having his or her mouth checked. As soon as a baby gets the first tooth, begin brushing using water. Use a soft bristled child-sized toothbrush. Continue cleaning and massaging the gums in all the other areas that remain toothless. Once the toothbrush bristles become worn or frayed, it loses its effectiveness, so be sure to replace it. If you're thinking about using fluoride toothpaste prior to a child's second birthday, be sure to speak with your dentist or pediatrician first. If toothpaste for your child is recommended, use only a pea-size amount of paste on the child's toothbrush. Make sure the child does not swallow any of the toothpaste. Once children become old enough to brush their own teeth, they should be supervised. And when teeth begin to touch each other, it's time to start flossing. Flossing is important to prevent cavities from developing between the teeth. It's a good idea to schedule a dental visit within six months after the first tooth erupts, but not later than a child's first birthday. The first dental visit is as important as your child's pediatrician checkup. During the visit, your dentist may review medical and dental histories, complete a thorough oral examination and cleaning, evaluate your child's fluoride intake to avoid problems caused by too much or too little fluoride, Provide suggestions about daily care and information on teething, pacifiers, or thumb-sucking habits. And answer any questions. A healthy and well-balanced diet is important for your child's development and to establish good eating habits. Limit sugary foods and snacking. Keep in mind that nearly all foods have some type of sugar that can't and shouldn't be eliminated from your diet. For example, most fruits and milk contain sugar but they also have important nutrients. If your child needs a snack, be sure to make healthy choices. Fluoride is a natural cavity fighter and plays an important role in your child's dental health. While teeth are developing, fluoride helps strengthen the tooth's enamel, which helps protect it from tooth decay. Fluoride can be found in toothpaste, mouth rinses, as well as your community water supply. Children who drink bottled water may be missing out on the benefits of fluoride. Be sure to check the label and purchase bottled water that has fluoride added. If you think your child may need fluoride supplements, speak with your dentist. Many children develop a thumb sucking habit because they find it relaxing and it provides them a sense of security. However, if children don't stop the habit, it could lead to dental problems. You can help children break the thumb sucking habit by praising them when they aren't sucking their thumb, helping them overcome any anxiety, comforting them, and rewarding children when they don't suck their thumbs during difficult periods. Your dentist can also help provide encouragement to not thumb suck. Practicing good oral health care can never start too soon. Primary teeth play an important role in your child's social and physical development. By teaching a child good oral habits and encouraging good nutrition, you are helping to ensure a lifetime of smiles.